What do you say, folks? DC Noy coming at you here with my first official YouTube video for my channel. Uh, I had uh, been asked by my friends and family for quite a while now, or, or, or had been suggested uh, to put some videos out there on uh, all my projects I've got going back here on my homestead. I, uh, I had uh, sent out uh, some requests on Facebook for trying to come up with a name. For my channel and uh, before I could get this started I kind of felt like I wanted to do it somewhat uniform and, and uh, some kind of neat way and uh, I appreciate the response that I got for uh, for some names I, 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 I liked all of them but uh, I was laying there the other morning I overslept and uh, I was thinking about my dad and I have to back up in time here just a little bit back in uh, my dad passed away November of 90, and uh, sometime before he passed away, he was very adamant, and uh, he, he just insisted that I move to Granger County. He just kept on me and telling me I needed to move to Granger County, and at the time, it wasn't possible. I had my children in school and uh, just started uh, a house on Shop Road down in the Corrington area and built it, and I, uh, to move, to, to pack up and move was just not an option at that time, but uh, some 13 years later, a piece of property fell in my hands, fell into my lap, uh, actually, through a friend of mine, told me about this piece of property, and uh, so I went and looked at it and just loved it, and uh, so uh, some 13 years later now, this property fell into my lap. Lo and behold, it's in Granger County. And at the time, I, I wasn't thinking about my dad's wishes and uh, desire for me to move to Granger County, but I feel somehow or another he had something to do with this. I really do. And uh, so, uh, and laying there the other morning, I was thinking about all the different names folks had sent me, and, and uh, I just happened to put my dad's initials. His name was uh, C.H. Noe. Carol H. Noe, and I put that with uh, with Granger, and so hence C. H. Granger was born that morning, and that's what I'm going to go with for my channel name, dedicating it to my dad, who would love it back here. This uh, he was I'm way back off of the road. I'm secluded back here, and uh, he was a coon hunter, and he loved nature and wildlife, and uh, and this would just been right down his alley, so I feel like every day he's back here with me. Uh, and uh, so I, 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 that's going to be my name, and again, I, I'm, I'm dedicating that to my dad, who I picked up all the, all of the little traits that I have and, and, and things that I can do with different, in different areas I know was passed on to me by my dad because he was the same way. He would tackle just about anything and uh, work his way through it. And uh, so I feel that's been given to me through my dad and through God above, just as a gift to be able to do these things. And uh, when, when I was asked to, to do these videos, I, I kind of felt like uh, when I first tried to do this and to do a video, I felt like it sounded like I was bragging or tooting my own horn and I'm not that type of person. But after watching other videos on YouTube and seeing that it can be be made clear that I'm not making bragging statements. I'm just so blessed and thankful for my blessings from God above. And and I can make that clear, I believe. And, and folks can use these videos maybe to either for entertainment, and you're going to be entertained and get a laugh more than likely out of just about every one I do. But, uh, or maybe learn something from a, a method that I use. And, and I'm no professional in any of these areas. I, I just happen to be uh, uh, I guess crazy enough to tackle some of these things without any any uh, in-depth knowledge of what I'm doing. I just uh, I just do. I've just always been that way. And uh, and another reason to do these videos, I believe that that other folks, you folks out there, some of you can realize that you can do more than you realize. You just have to dive in and do it. Just jump in there, and, and you're gonna make mistakes and. Hopefully, you know, it won't be ones that cost you too much. And 
as I'm doing some of my videos, you know, that on things that I've never done before, we'll learn it together, and, and, uh, and I'll make the mistake here, and you'll see maybe a better way to do it. But uh, I've got uh, a, a lot of projects going on. Uh, I've got my home built over here. It's just up out of the ground, and my, my subfloor is down. I've got my basement dried in actually right now with, with uh, felt paper and, and plastic, and it's pretty dry. I've got one little leak I've got to work on, but got it dried out pretty good. I'm waiting on my garage doors and put my doors up soon when they get here, and I'll, I'll be secure in there. I've got my sawmill up here on this end that I uh, purchased a few weeks ago, my Norwood HD36. To, to cut my wood for my house. I'm going to use that to cut my logs for my home. Got the tree house you can see up behind me here. Been working on it for about a year and a half now, I guess. And uh, got it dried in for the most part. I've still got some soffit and, and some eave work to do around here to get it completely dried in. But uh, anyway, it's, I'm going to have to pull off this tree house and, and get back on my home here. Or I'm never going to get get this thing livable. And uh, another good uh, project I think you'll enjoy is uh, I've got a spring down here that I captured. Actually, from a video that I watched on YouTube, uh, I think the fella's uh, page is Engineer775. He does a lot of off-grid type living videos and, and spring captures, and uh, he's got a lot of, a lot of good videos. Um, but that was the method that I used to capture this spring, and... Uh, I, uh, uh, I got it captured and popped out, and, and soon we'll be starting to add on to that and go on down to my storage tank, and uh, eventually I'll, I'll come out of that storage tank and put me a line up to my house, the pump and all, to, to supply my, uh, my home with water. I had my spring checked, actually, by the health department, and contrary to what they told me and felt, before they even came out, they said my spring was going to be contaminated more than likely. And, and I just felt the way I was back here and the way I'm positioned back here against the base of this mountain. I mean, 40 yards, 50 yards that direction, the mountain takes off pretty much straight up. And there's nothing back here, no, no uh, livestock or anything like that. And then down here where I'm capturing this spring, it's probably six feet down uh, from, from the point where it's, it's coming out down here. Uh, and I just felt it was going to be clean, and sure enough, he, they sent it off to the lab, and it came back safe for me to drink. There was some yellow flag on it with the color form bacteria, which is in all water. Um, it doesn't matter. You're, you, you can drink water with that as long as there's no E. coli or, or any uh, Giardia or any of those bad bacteria in your water. And, and I will, for a safety uh Stamp, from a safety standpoint, I will purify it somehow or another just to make sure <clears throat> nothing happens to, to contaminate my water. You never know when that water table uh, is, is going to get some some bad form of bacteria in it. So I more than likely won't chance that, especially if I'm going to have my grandchildren up here. I by no means want to get them sick. Uh, so I'll use probably UV. I'll use a UV light to uh, and system to uh, purify my water instead of chlorine but uh, that's for another that's for another show down the road I just wanted to uh, mainly hit the high spots here and do this first video and more than anything explain my name channel name because folks that see this that know me are going to wonder where in the world did he come up with C.H. Granger so that uh, again is from uh, from my father C.H. Noy, putting the Granger with it because he was so adamant about me moving to Granger County, and here I am. So, um, again, I'm dedicating this channel to my father. Uh, so that, that was mainly it, to throw that name out there and uh, let you know and talk about some of the projects I've got going on around here, give you a little bit of history about me. And uh, I guess that's about it. I'm not sure how long I've been running here, but... Uh, I, uh, I do appreciate you all looking at my channel, and if you like it, please click like and share and, and even subscribe to my channel. And uh, I look forward to getting back at 
some of these things I've got going on, more than likely the first few videos are going to be